Hi Year 9, thank you for considering studying GCSE dance. You know how much I absolutely love dance and believe how important it is in the secondary school curriculum. Um, I just want to share that passion with you and that enthusiasm and just tell you a little bit about the course and tell you also why I think you should study GCSE dance next year. So dance is a subject that encourages you to develop your creative, physical, emotional and intellectual capacity. It isn't just about being a dancer and performing, it's also having that ability to write about it in an exam setting. Of course, dance is a great way to stay fit and exercise and improve your health and for you to develop a healthy lifestyle. And as you know, it lifts your mood, it gives you confidence, and that's good for your mind and to improve your overall well-being. You will study um, a range of dance styles and you'll work collaboratively with other people as well towards performances. I absolutely believe that it encourages you to be really independent and effective learners you know, everything that we do within dance lessons gives you an opportunity to reflect and inquire and be inquisitive and you will have opportunities throughout the course to become natural leaders. So that's going to massively affect you in later life because they're the transferable skills. And it is an absolutely exciting and lively and interesting course, which, yeah, it will be physically demanding, but really enjoyable. And the, the way the specification is designed, it doesn't matter what experience you've got. You don't have to have a prior knowledge. Anybody can choose to do this curriculum area. So you'll study the three strands of dance, performance, choreography and appreciation exactly as you have done in Key Stage 3. And there'll be opportunities for you to show your skills as a dancer where you are assessed on style and accuracy and precision. And you'll do that in both solos and group pieces. You will be given opportunities to choreograph either solos or group pieces, and that will be based around a theme that's set by the exam board, but you will choose your music and your dancers and organise your own rehearsals. An absolutely brilliant opportunity to show your leadership and work independently. And then finally, for appreciation, it's about appreciating professional dance works, and there are six of those on the exam paper. How will you be assessed? So there are two components in, in dance. There's component one, which is the practical element, and component two, which is the written element, the dance appreciation. So for component one, you will perform and choreograph. For performance, you will learn two short solo pieces and you will perform in a duet or trio. And that is worth 30% of the course. You will then choreograph either a solo or a group. And again, that is worth 30% of the course. So that amounts, the practical side of GCSE dance amounts to 60%. There's also the written element, which is worth 40%, where you'll sit an hour and a half exam paper. You will write about your own choreographies and your own performance pieces, and you'll show an understanding of the choreographic process and the performance skills that are needed. But the biggest chunk of the exam paper is the critical appreciation of professional works. And you will study six professional dance works to prepare you for this exam. GCSE dance is extremely demanding, but it requires you to not just be committed towards the practical, but also the theory. Um, you must have that motivation and enthusiasm for the written elements of the course in order to achieve. But most of all, whether it's a practical lesson or a written lesson, it's just the determination to perform to the highest standards. So finally, how does this course link to future courses? 
So you could undertake post-16 courses in dance and performing arts, for example, A-level dance, or you can do a BTEC national diploma with a focus on dance. You could progress then to degree level and do a degree in dance. Or you could pursue a traineeship and employment in the leisure industry, be a performer or work in a theatre front of house or something like that. But a lot of you, you might not want to pursue a career in dance at all. And that doesn't matter because GCSE dance will absolutely give you the points and grades that you need for your next steps whatever they are it's just a great qualification for somebody who loves performing who loves dance to enjoy a bit of time do what they're good at and achieve a really good grade thank you for your time year nine